Okay, so isolating uh, pieces to paint. So let me do this one time. I'm just gonna create a fill layer, with the bucket. Um, I should give it red color just to do it. Right click, add black mask. Then we'll go to this right here, this one right here, first triangle. Hmm. Oh, I did that backwards. All right, so triangle gives you half a polygon. So I clicked it once, half, click it other time to get the whole thing. The next one is just a single polygon. And then this one is 3D. Now, what does it say? Mesh fill. So everything that's connected, um, like this. So we just want the red stuff. And we'll click on the red stuff. Click off of this. So it looks like we have to get the top. Well, let's see if we can get this part right here. Right. So this is what we're trying to get then might have to do this, go in and just manually erase the other ones. And also if we hold down shift and well, wait, alt, alt and left click is um, uh, tumble or rotate. So we'll hold down shift and we'll get this. Also, we could also do this in the uh, UV view, but I'll try to get part of it in this view just to do it. Okay, pretty good. I got this side. I'll tilt it down a little bit. So when I use this, I won't um, grab something on the other side. So now I'm getting everything. Then I guess depending on how like accurate I want to get, I can get in there. But I can also do this. Go to my where's it? It's not right. This. And I can work on it from here as well. So we're deselecting now, right? So deselect. So we'll just deselect all these. See, laying out good EVs helps you in this program. Now just go back. Then I'll just scan over all these. So then I look at this and I say, what is that? I don't like it. So then we'll just go over here. Oh no, that was add. Yeah, and then you basically are going around trying to find these areas. If it was laid out 
Well, I don't know. It could be laid out to a part where this like separates, but I'm not exactly sure. Then to find this would be kind of hard, this piece. When the UV, so I'll just go here. And just cleanly remove that edge. Yeah, so basically we're just going to go around this whole thing and select all these little pieces. And uh, yeah, so we can use the UV for assistance. You saw this one right here. So what is this? This is that piece. So I'll just get all of this. I'd have to look to your, your reference to see exactly what uh, needs to be selected. I think I'm kind of close. Yeah, and you know, and if you mess up like I did right there and take too much off, it's just a, and look, I'm just like using the selection tool, so. I mean, the rectangle selection. And then after you get it all, yep, and then we're done. We're almost done. But all it is is a matter of using that tool and then the box selection. And then whatever else isn't selected is going to get uh, some action anyway, right? So the top is red, and then what's the rest of this? Because it's the top layer, right? And then the beautiful part about this is, is if I want to put some overall dirt on it, easy, just spoke sand wrong. There's no sand. I thought it was like a sand. I'm sure there was, right? Sand. Dust. Oh, no, no, it's concrete, this one. Concrete's a good one for dirt. So then you put it on. And then it goes over everything. Then, of course, you go get your generator. Where is it at? Or smart mask. Let me do a sand. I'm not sure I'm not seeing anything. Uh, remove mask. Oh, yeah, I didn't bake the textures. That's why. So it's not going to um, do like it's supposed to do because it needs to have that information. But anyway, if we did do that, well, as you can see, it does go over this. So but when I bake the textures, they'll be able to tell the position and everything. But 
when you do do that, the the material goes over everything. So you can do your fades like I did, and then make the top red, you know, wherever you like. But the, yeah, that's how you would select those selections. So you could either manually do it, or you can do it in the uh, the UV.